everybody and welcome back hope you guys are having a good time your host suit man we're going to get into uh some stock market and economic news also get into crypto crypto as well with uh lender celsius so uh stay tuned for that it's going to be a quick wrap up hope you guys enjoy it at the moment of course uh we had uh, a pretty negative night overnight on the uh, u.s stock exchanges dow jones s p nasdaq all down uh modestly but still down the little less there after the big inflation news so let's check out some of that We've also got the Asian markets, of course, in operation. The other thing that we did have, of course, is the commodities, the oil there up as well. And uh, see Brent crude just gone over 100 US dollars there at the moment. Uh, so some interesting stuff ha happening there. Uh, Asia Pacific stocks were mostly up on Thursday morning, although red hot US inflation data hardened bets on more aggressive US uh, Federal Reserve monetary policy tightening. Uh, and of course, people are talking about that in a big, big way. So you can see all of Japan, South Korea, Australia, uh, however, edging up a little bit here compared to the U.S. Uh, counterparts. And, of course, uh, the U.S. CPI, or Consumer Inflation Index there, uh, rose to 9.1% in June year-on-year, year, a four-decade high. Investing.com predicted a reading of 8.8%, uh, while 8.6% was recorded in May. Investors speculated whether the 9.1% uh, reading marks the peak. Uh, of course, uh, I don't think so personally. Markets uh, expected a historic one page, uh, one percent uh, uh, point Fed interest rate hike. So expecting the federal funds rate uh, to rise by one percentage point next time, rather than zero point seven five or seventy five percentage points, which was high as well. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. We're currently at one point seven five for the federal fund rate. So uh, that would put it to two point seven five. Starting to get up there. Uh, the cheap money era is starting to be over, as it were. Fed Bank of Atlanta President Ralph Bozak said everything is in play to combat price pressures. Uh, Fed Bank of Cleveland uh, President Loretta Mester told Bloomberg that the CPI or inflation report was a uniformly bad and that central bank will need to go well beyond the neutral level of rates. Two -year, uh, Treasury two-year yields sensitive to imminent Fed moves climb further. Stubbornly, if high inflation increases the risk that the FOMC, that's the Federal Reserve, continues to hike aggressively and triggers a recession and that's really the next uh next step in the saga and of course if we get recession we also got the property market in play as well uh especially with the interest rate rises the commonwealth bank of australia senior economist christina clifton said in a note that's increasingly the market-based case and recession fears will continue to support the dollar she added now we're not technically in a recession yet we had one quarter, uh, but of course, uh, people are forecasting this current quarter to be in recession, uh, to be a negative GDP growth. Therefore, two quarters make a recession. So uh, we're probably pretty much in it already. Uh, in Asia Pacific, Singapore Bank, Central Bank unexpectedly tightened monetary policy on Thursday, seeing the currency higher. Meanwhile, a Chinese central bank official said liquidity in the interbank market was more than reasonably ample, a sign that further rate cuts are unlikely, in particular for China. So some interesting stuff happening there in the Asian markets and the US, obviously on the back of that high inflation rate. Let's have a look to turn to crypto now. Obviously, crypto lender Celsius, and now we've had lots of big things, BlockFi, Voyager, uh, Three Arrows Capital, Celsius, of course. Uh, many players, of course, uh, Binance, you know, uh, you know, stopping withdrawals, other things like that happening. Been a pretty interesting uh, period as we've entered this bear market. Crypto lender Celsius files for bankruptcy. And of course, uh, let's quickly check this article out. U.S. lender crypto, U.S. crypto lender Celsius Network said on Wednesday it had uh, has filed for bankruptcy, becoming the latest victim in the cryptocurrency sector to wilt under the dramatic plunge in prices. Uh, New Jersey-based Celsius it listed. Uh, estimates assets and liabilities on a consolidated basis in the range of $1 billion to $10 billion, according to a court filing in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court on the Southern District of New York. Crypto lenders boomed during the COVID-19 pandemic, drawing depositors from high interest rates and earning uh, easy access to, lo uh, to loans rarely offered by traditional banks. Uh, they, however, tumbled in recent months following a crash in the cryptocurrency prices and a collapse of major token Atera USD, which we've covered on this channel in may another crypto lender voyager data of course digital had filed for bankruptcy on july the 6th after suspending withdrawals and deposits Celsius is not requesting authority to allow withdraw customer withdrawals at this time the company said in a press release on wednesday adding that it has filed a series of custom mary notes motions with the court to allow it to continue operations in normal course so it's positive at this stage the company has 167 million uh, in cash on hand and will provide liquidity to support certain operations during the restructuring process. Celsius froze withdrawals and transfers last month, citing extreme market conditions, leaving its 1.7 million customers unable to redeem their assets. 
Uh, this promoted state securities regulations in the regulators in New Jersey, Texas, and Washington to investigate the decision. Uh, so not great there for uh, Celsius. Obviously a flaw with the business model as well. So I wish everybody luck who has uh, deposits there. Now let's have a quick look. Turn to Bitcoin. Now even despite the, the uh, high inflation, uh, look at this. So uh, we uh, have, have a bit of a, we did get sold down uh, to eighteen hundred uh, eighteen thousand eight hundred ninety two dollars, but we've managed to rebound. Uh, to twenty thousand thirty uh, thirty dollars at the moment. We're currently at twenty thousand two hundred. So, uh, and we just moved into the new day on my chart here. So, pretty interesting. Ethereum, of course, is up as well, six percent to eleven hundred and fourteen. BNB up fourteen four uh, percent to two hundred thirty two. Uh, and uh, Bitcoin currently up four percent. So, not bad with a forty one point eight percent dominance as well as Bitcoin. So, I hope you enjoyed that quick update. Uh, your host, Superman. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell. Uh, leave a comment if you got caught into that Celsius uh, issue uh, with deposit withdrawals. And uh, uh, let's see how we get on with that one. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye for now. Take care.